Welcome children to the last session of nutrition in plant of class 7. Yesterday we have discussed about heterotroph, then we have discussed about heterotrophic nutrition. They are divided into four categories parasitic plant, insectivorous plant, saprophytic plant, and symbiotic plant. In the insectivorous plant, we have already discussed that the insect can be trapped by the pitcher plant and utilize nitrogen which is present inside the insect. Now we are going to discuss about the saprophytic and symbiotic plant. So what are saprophytic? The mode of nutrition in which organism take in nitro nutrient in solution form from dead and decaying matter is called saprophytic nutri nutrition. Plant which use saprotrophic mode of nutrition are called saprotroph. You have seen packet of mushroom sold in vegetable market and you have you may also seen fluffy umbrella like patches growing on rotting wood during rainy season you know what are these these all are fungi yes the mushroom which you have eaten are fungi but mushroom which you have eaten is safe because it's grown by the humans but some of grown by their own in the forest on dead and decaying matter of plant and animal they are not safe for eating. They always grow on dead and decaying matter and get its nutrient from it. Many of time these fungi you have seen on the leather, pickle or sometime on the bread also during rainy season. The last one is a symbiotic. So what, what is a symbiotic? Some organism live together and share shelter, nutrient. This is called symbiotic relationship. For example, Certain fungi live in the roots of a tree. These trees provide nutrients to fungi and in return receive help from it to take water and nutrient from the soil. One more example is there. The organism called lichen live in an association with fungi and algae. Fungus provide shelter, water and minerals to the algae. Now what algae will give? And, el and in return, the algae provides food which is prepared by the photosynthesis. It is just like your best friend. You are sitting with your best friend. No? So, when you need something, your friend will help you. And when your friend needs something, you will help them. So, you both are showing the symbiotic association where you will help to each other. Now the last now the last heading of this chapter is how nutrients are replenished in the soil. Have you seen farmer spreading manure or fertilizers in the field? Do you know why they are added to soil to increase the fertility of the soil? You learn during photosynthesis plant take water, mineral, nutrient from the soil. So these nutrients keep decline from the soil fertilizers and manure containing nitrogen potassium and phosphorus when we mix these fertilizers they will increase the fertility of the soil these nutrient needed to be added time to time in the soil to increase fertility of soil that's why farmers use fertilizers and manure in the field as you know that the crop requires lots of nitrogen but after harvesting the soil become deficient in nitrogen. You know in air nitrogen is present in plenty but plant cannot use these nitrogen as they are using carbon dioxide. You know how much percent of nitrogen is present in the atmosphere? Yes it is 78%. So, so the question will arise how plant will get atmospheric nitrogen. The answer is that the bacteria called rhizobium found in the root nodules of some certain plant which carrying pods just like pea, moon, beans. These bacteria fix atmospheric nitrogen means they will absorb atmospheric nitrogen and fix it into the soil now if they will help the plant then what the plant will give to them 
सो प्लांट गेव न्यूट्रिय टू दीज बैक्टीरिया सो दे कैन ऑल्सो लिव इन द एसोसिएशन ऑफ सिम्बायोटिक रिलेशन सिप दे आर दे कैन ऑल्सो हेल्प टू ईच अदर सो टूडे वी हैव फिनिश दिस चैप्टर विद ऑल मोड ऑफ हेट्रोट्रॉफिक न्यूट्रिशन दैट इज पैरासिटिक प्लान इंसेक्टिव बोरस प्लान एंड सिम्बायोटिक प्लांट्स थैंक यू